We're here and it's cup final day. It's FA Cup final day. No, it's not. We're in Leipzig. We're in Germany, so it would be. The Pokal. No. <laughs> it's another Pokal final in Leipzig. It's not RB Leipzig. It is the Satya Pokal final between Lokomotiv Leipzig and Chemnitz. Look at how life on the street. Locomotive, what is, is a locomotive? What is it? So according to the dictionary, but we'll put the appropriate description here. Is so cars? No. It's a motor, no? <laughs> no, well, no, a locomotive is basically is. a steam or engine yeah, that's used is. to power like rail carts or trains. Oh. Yeah, well, I said we'll get the description here. Anyways, and we're starting here outside the Hamanoff because we are here, we're gonna see Locomotive Leipzig, one of I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna proudly stay one of the hidden giants of German football. And what better way then to start the story than outside the train station? Yes. Yes. See, let's just get the the Sachin Poker Final. If I'm even saying it right, it's basically in English it translates to the Saxony Cup Final because Leipzig is in the state of Sa Saxony, so it's Chemnitz. Basically, it's a cup that's designed for like teams that are like in the German third division downwards. Look around, start from the ghetto. This I will never make it big. We're gonna try some of history in like two minutes. Three minutes because we talk too much and I feel like we just ramble and ramble and you guys are just here for the football. What's the story? I don't know. Look at me, I started from the street. Look at me, I started from the So fast forward to the 1960s, right? Especially in 1966, that was the pivotal change of Lokomotiv Leipzig because basically and for a lot of East German clubs. So the national team wasn't doing well so in order to increase sort of like the standard of the of the east german national team to increase the footballers and basically because it was politics right so like if they were representing east germany on the international stage you know like they wanted to make sure like all oh, communists can play football or like the communist system is working and the national team is not doing good so then they were all of a sudden 11 focus clubs were established in the east germany so this i will never make it be me, I tell them, say, oh, me go the money, so the cover, it dream me a break. All fun and games in Leipzig today. Yes. yes. Yes, but for Locomotive Leipzig, the last 30 years, it hasn't really been much fun and games. Um, historically, the club reached the final of the 1987 Cup Winners' Cup, losing out 1 0 to Ajax in the final. Uh, the fall of the Berlin Wall meant that a lot of these Eastern European, um, Eastern German clubs, sorry, they lost a lot of finances because they were state owned. Right, so now for Lokomotiv Leipzig, luckily for them, they made it to the 1993-94 Bundesliga. The only time they've ever been in the Bundesliga in the history. Since then, they've steadily declined and declared um, insolvency and bankruptcy in both 2000 and 2004. Anyways, that's it from us. We've really tried to summon it up like the history and the politics of Lokomotiv Leipzig in like two three minutes we hope by the time we edit this anyways we're gonna go enjoy the park it's a beautiful day and you guys you watch the rest of the video and you go enjoy the vlog <laughs> to myself and right now we're outside the Budapest Stadium, the home of Lokomotiv Leipzig, uh, founded in 1896 as VfB Leipzig and we're one of the founding members of the German FA. In fact, uh, Lokomotiv Leipzig were the first ever German team to win the German Football League Championship. There's a lot of away fans, which is good. I didn't expect so many away fans, but Chemnitz, I think, is only an hour drive. Um, I'm going to go for Tuna Leipzig.
okay, so half time is 1 into Leipzig, and it's quite a deserved lead to be fair. And they got a scrappy penalty that they hit the post and then scored the rebound, as you've seen, that they were penalty bar. It's a goal, you know. Honestly, when they went in, I didn't think it would count. And then, yeah, they've just been doing long balls over the top, and so far it's working. Chemnitz, they haven't turned out to a big second half meter from them, and Leipzig, if they can hold on to, hold on to it, I think they'll see how comfortable. I was thinking the exact same right now. I was thinking, holy moly, it's going down. Leipzig and a great, great, great game of football. 3 0 to Leipzig, they've just walked the park with Chemnitz. So it's like 3 0 by like the 70th minute, and Chemnitz just having no turned off today. I don't even think they've had a really clear cut chance on goal. And yeah, I think you look at Leipzig, like second, third goal. It was super goal for Chemnitz to concede. Um, but it was a great game of football, great game of lower division. Another example of why you should explore the lower divisions of German football. Really intense fan culture. It's sort of like historic stadiums so that you feel like you're walking into the past. It's very raw, you know, very raw and organic and very different to like the mainstream football today. But, uh, it's a nice little ground to be fair. You have like the, the fan curve, which takes around like I'd say about like a good maybe 80% of the stadium. And then you have the one main stand, which is like seating and it's like made of wood, I believe. And it's quite old, but I really like the stands here. It's no seating. It's all um, standing as if you're coming straight into like the 1970s to watch a game. Really, really good. You can see the fence beside me, the, the floor, which I'm going to show you now. It's really, really great. And so it's football. Honestly, time work. So pitch invasions, pyro, great fan culture, uh, old school terraces. I think seven would be one. I'm gonna give it uh, we'll give it seven point five, seven point five out of ten. Something that I need to mention is the score the score clock, the score scoreboard is basically like I read it in a book, right? Um obviously this this video is basically inspired by um, the turn of the season from Michael White. But you can see it like in person and it's so old. It's like a proper scoreboard and it, they don't have like a stopwatch, you know, like like that has a time, it's literally like a twenty four hour clock and you just have to see like, okay, this family said, 10 minutes left. 